everyone, welcome back to In Building Design. Rob McKay here with everyone's favorite new guy, Ken. On today's episode of In Building Design, we're in the Midwest, just outside of Chicago, and we're following along the transformation of a backyard project, start to finish. We'll learn about all the products the homeowner used, from natural stone veneers and paving, to an innovative fireplace system that'll make install a snap. Are you excited? <clears throat> I'm very excited. All right, well, let's go meet the homeowner. So Dylan, tell us about your project. You're gonna completely renovate this backyard, is that right? Yeah, we're gonna take out the deck, put a fireplace in, and we're gonna put some pavers down. That's cool, cool. So the paving material is gonna kind of sweep out this way. You're gonna create a, I mean, it's a big space. Right now you've got a small deck. You're gonna make it bigger, right? Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna have about maybe 600 square feet. Okay, um, putting a hot tub back here, is that right? Yeah, we wanna have some kind of entertainment. Uh, you're round. Yeah. So uh, we thought that would be a great option. Cool. So let's talk about the products that you're using on this project. So you're using a paving product from Aura, a thin veneer from Pangea, and an isocurrent. And I think you've got some samples up here we can check out. Is that yeah. right? Let's go check them out. Let's go check them out. So let's talk about the veneer stone that's going around the fireplace and the walls. You chose Pangea, Copper Canyon, Castle Stone. How come you chose this stone? You know, I've never seen it before. Just looking for something different. Yeah, I think it really make a statement stand out a little bit different than the rest of the neighborhood. Um, so that's going on the fireplace and going on the walls. Um, and then the paving product, this is a little bit unique. We're used to seeing concrete pavers in, in this neck of the woods. You're going with a, with a granite here. Talk about that. Yeah, so it's got little different specks in there, different colors. It's got some good texture to it. So when it does rain, no one slips. That's great. I think this combined with that Pangea is going to look really nice and, and complement the brick that you've already got in your home and, and really tie everything together. Correct. So you've got your contractor starting tomorrow, is that right? Yeah, we're yeah. excited. That's awesome. So we'll be back tomorrow and we're going to get to follow this project from start to finish and see all the steps along the way. I'm excited to see how this is going to all uh, pan out in the end. Yeah, me too. Cool. <laughs> Over the next few days, the existing wooden deck is removed and the layout of the new patio and fireplace area takes shape. The first two layers of aggregate base are laid out and compacted, and the trench is dug out to form the base of the seating wall and beam supports for a future pergola project. Lastly, the final fine layer of aggregate base begins to get installed. So we're back out on the job. As you saw, kind of following the steps along, a lot of work has been done to get us to this step. As you can see, the deck's been ripped out. They've completed the dig and the removal of all of the topsoil and laid down the aggregate base. And I'm gonna hop down here and, and kind of show you. Um, I think this is really cool. Kind of shows how, I don't know, what's in our backyards. A lot of times you don't know what's underneath there, but you can see we've got a deep layer of clay and about a four or five inch uh, layer of topsoil here. So when they dug, they, they took most of that topsoil off to allow room for the aggregate base to kind of sit below that. And then the pavers are gonna sit on top of that. So that'll make sure that the yard's nice and flush and level. So if you kind of look down in here, you can see what kind of makes that, that paver base up. We've got three different layers of, uh, of gravel or aggregate that's, that builds that base up. The first is are these larger rocks that provides the base layer. And then they mix a, a like a medium coarse uh, layer on top of that and compact it. And what happens when that compaction happens, it locks it all nice and tight. Um, if you look back here, that's the final course being laid. And that final course of uh, paver base is much finer and allows a nice area for those, those pavers to sit in for the life of the, the patio. So as you can see, um, as they're laying that, that final top layer there, uh, you can see there's some, there's some poles in there and those are screed rods. And what they do is that helps them make sure that they have the right depth of that top layer. And then it helps them to make sure that it pitches and it's level. Uh, in the case of this home, we want the patio to drain out and all the moisture to go to the rear of the yard because that's how it naturally tapers. Um, so I think that'll keep the life of this patio um, together much longer. But you can see that coming up. We're excited to watch them start laying pavers very soon. But let's talk about the hole I'm in. Pretty big hole and trench. And the homeowner, they want to have a seating wall here um, with a fireplace and then two areas with footings for 
for the roof to be supported. So you can see that they've dug this down quite substantially. In this area, you wanna make sure that you get the proper depth due to frost, so you don't have any heaving in the winter time and any problems with the structure or the fireplace or the wall at some point down the road. So you can see how this is all kind of shaping up. You've got the, the wall here that's gonna come up about three feet above grade with a seat here. You have a beautiful fireplace in the center. It's all gonna be clad with stone. I think this is gonna turn out nice. So. Um, we're gonna get out of the way of the guys right now. They're ready to come back out here and start working again. So we'll hop out of the way and we'll follow along from here on out. Once the final fine layer of aggregate base has been laid out and screed to a level surface, the paver installation can begin. The crew makes sure to follow the pattern, leaving a half inch gap between the joints where polymeric sand will eventually be swept in as a final step. So as you can see, the pavers are moving right along. What I really like about this pattern setup is that there's four different sizes of pavers. And what that gives is a real uniqueness and a bit of character. Uh, different than what you would see in a traditional concrete paver with a straight running bond pattern. The variation and the mix of these pavers in there will really set this project apart. Now, we gotta get out of the way because the concrete truck's pulling up and they're getting ready to put concrete in this hole right here. So we'll get out of their way and let them do the work. Because of the narrow space between the house and the neighbor's fence, the concrete is brought in one wheelbarrow at a time. Luckily, there's enough crew here to keep this project moving along smoothly. So today, they're getting ready to wrap up the patio. They're gonna finish laying the rest of the patio pavers and be all set and ready for tomorrow, where the fireplace gets installed, they start to build the walls, and this project starts to really take its shape. All right, so we're back out on the job and today is fireplace day. I love fireplaces. They're a place where you can hang out, do s'mores, tell ghost stories around, or just hang out and have a glass of wine. This is a pretty cool fireplace system. It's by Isokern, it's a modular fireplace system. So let's go check it out. As you can see here, it's built of all different components that just lock together, pre-cut. So all you have to do is assemble it with this kind of unique uh, adhesive that locks it all together. So they've got the fireplace in place. Now they're setting the chimney. And this chimney is gonna go about, finish about 10 feet up in the air. So once they get this fireplace all put together, chimney install, they're gonna start building out the wall. So Dylan, this project is uh, progressing along quite nicely. They got a lot done. So most of the pavers are in. They got a little bit of work to do to kind of fill this in, but that big trench that we had here before is now filled with concrete. The seating wall is up, the fireplace is up. I mean, man, this is looking really impressive. They're putting fire brick in. I mean, this whole project's really starting to come together quite nicely. Are you happy with it? Yeah, they're doing a great job. The product works very well. Everything complements each other. I'm just excited. Yeah, so next steps are stone going up on the fireplace and the wall. Uh, and I think it'll really start to tie everything together. So I'm excited to keep watching the project go along. Yeah, me too. With the fireplace and sitting wall installed, the masons get to work on finishing off the look with some beautiful castle stone by Pangea. These guys really know what they're doing. Balancing technical know-how and artistry, bringing this project to a whole nother level. Next, some fantastic low profile steps are created by using bullnose coping from Aura Natural Landscapes. Last, a solid edge restraint is added as a border around the pavers. This provides support, ensuring the pavers won't slide around or shift over the life of the patio. So one of the final steps of this project is filling in all the joints throughout the whole project. We left a half inch gap throughout, and what that does is leave space for us to fill, 
And much like the tile that you have at home, you've got grout that fills those joints. Here, we're using a polymeric sand, and that goes down into the joints. And what's nice about this, it'll bind nice and tight. It'll keep the pavers in place won't wash away with rain and wind and weather and really will help this product perform the way it should. When you're choosing the sand, you can choose in different colors. For this project, they chose a lighter color for the field and a darker color to match the outside border. Really looks nice and is the last accent feature that makes this project complete. All right, Dylan, I gotta tell you what, this project turned out truly incredible. Every little detail really stands out. The way you guys have decided to lay out these steps, not to take up a ton of space in the patio and leave you more space. The fireplace is definitely the feature. Yeah, it's definitely a showstopper. Looking at it, definitely from the street and back here. Oh yeah, I'm sure people have been stopping by, wanna kind of check it out and kind of get some ideas for their own backyard. 100%. Man, it looks awesome. And you've got this seating wall here that really expands the, the outdoor sitting space. You don't have to add a bunch of chairs. I mean, yeah, take a seat. Oh. Man, that's super comfortable and that's nice. Did you kind of mock that up for yourself? I did. It looks perfect, it looks perfect. So, Aura Natural Landscapes on the pavers looks beautiful. Pangea Stone wrapping up this beautiful Isochron fireplace. I mean, this project turned out awesome. I think all that's left to do is for us to go have a couple drinks. Let's go. Let's do it.